Hello, this is Sabrina Tarot at Pier Luna Tarot 808 with a, an equinox, equinox reading for uh, the spring equinox, uh, which happened yesterday, between yesterday and the day before. Uh, and I'm sure if you're sensitive, you've been feeling the energy already, the shift in between the heavy energy of the uh, ending of the Pisces season as, and as we're entering the Aries season, which marks the beginning of the year because it began uh, it marks the beginning of spring which is more of uh, the beginning of the year of the wheel <clears throat> sorry and we're using here the the wheel of the year tarot uh, because uh, it seemed very fitting and we got the following cards we have the the world with which of course is reinforcing as uh, the this and this reading is uh, to understand the lessons that we have, uh, spiritual lessons of this season. So we have the world card, which has been interpreted this way on this particular deck, uh, which is very fitting. And it's marking us the, what an equinox means is of course, this is the changing of the seasons. It's of course, uh, in the spring season is uh, the spring equinox. It's a time when uh, the day and the night are exactly, they are, they have the same length and it's of course a time where we can feel the earth uh, rebirthing from from the winter time we can hear the birds chirping even um, i'm in costa rica and i'm in a two season country but here even the birds are we can hear the difference in the birds in the morning and it, it does feel like spring here as well even if, if we don't have four seasons and what is this is telling us is this is the opportunity um, and what we're celebrating around the world in the whole in the Holy Week, because the Holy Week is it's a seasonal uh, festivity, spiritual, and of course, uh, regardless of your spirituality or if you're pan spiritual and like me, you you like to follow different uh, spiritual beliefs that resonate with your heart and you embrace them all, uh, including the Catholic rites. This is the time to celebrate the promise of the world, of the cycle of the world, that um, after the winter time, after death comes rebirth. And that is that resurrection of, of the sun that keeps uh, bringing us light. And it's, but apart from the general term, the cards are telling me that this season is, is bringing with it its energy of a new start, that we've finished past lessons that we've been going through, as hard as they were. And with the star card, which is an energy of uh, aligning with our our um, soul purpose, aligning with our bliss, aligning with the flow. It's uh, like second winds, it's miracles, it's feeling the Holy Spirit descending on us when we needed it the most. So it's a time when we're going to feel that, we're going to feel blessings and and healing from the difficulties that we've been going through. And here with the Hierophant, I was um, meditating on that, on why it showed up on this reading. And the Hierophant has to do, of course, with the dogma and the religion. And of course, uh, the Hierophant would be the one that stores the, the, the cosmic laws. And uh, what we refer now to our religion and to gods and from the Hindu to the Catholic to the Christian to the Protestant, they're all related to the heavens above, to the movement of the planets. Uh, so even though uh, it might be religions that we don't follow or we don't believe in, they still have a lot of wisdom in regards to the wheel of the year and of the centuries and millennia of gathering information and wisdom on how to better how to live a life of fulfillment and how to find strength and, and mercy when we need it the most because uh, all the rest of the human beings before us, the past generations, um, they, they all had to go through difficulties and darkness. And all those religions, they carry a lot of wisdom, mil millennial wisdom and the wisdom of humanity, the collective wisdom on how to better navigate out of dark times. Uh, regardless of what resonates more with your, with what religion you were brought up with, and uh, so it's it's also a remind a reminder that uh, if we're feeling still the darkness of the winter, that we can go back to our own traditions, uh, the ones that have always felt like close to our hearts, and we can find solace in them, uh, and we find that strength that we have here in this card 
to keep going, uh, to find the wisdom in, in their difficulties and to grow out of them. Uh, the other cards that I got as well were this one said, the end of a cycle means that we, we, we finished, like here with the Eight of Pentacles, we finished lessons, we were polished by those lessons, and as well that the unfortunate heartache that we, from the Three of Swords or the Four of, uh, Four of Cups where we're things that we're disillusioned by and the heartaches that we went through from past year, they were necessary fuel for us to perfect ourselves in the Eight of Pentacles pentacles to perfect our lives to perfect the life purposes and also to create new things to focus on on what we really want to create on turning that energy of the heartaches and the energy of the um, of feeling disillusioned by life into building something that we really want that we really care for that really resonates with us here with the queen of, queen of wands who is a manifester of energy, of inspiration, of bliss, of art. This could also be the um, feeling inspired to do creative things, to do artistic things, to do, and doesn't mean like a Picasso or a Rembrandt or a Michelangelo. I mean, in any way you can be artistic in your life um, and, and feel that you're building something that resonates with you and that is healing. So art can be a, a great way to heal during this time and to uh, to find from the darkness from from what we didn't like from the friction from the difficulties a purpose to create uh, and manifest the beauty that we want to see the differences or the the changes that we want to see in our lives uh, and it's also a reminder because we had here the death card that of course the the end of the season the death of a season, the end of a year, the end of a cycle is nothing more than the opportunity for something else to be rebuilt and from whatever was past to be the compost of the new life that we want to bring in. And of course, if you like a private reader, reading, uh, my contact information is on the bio, on my bio or in the description below, regardless, uh, depending on where you are uh, seeing this. You can also visit my website, Pierre Luna Tarot 808, and I send you all the blessings. And of course, if you like a private reading, you you can contact me, and I can let you know what the cards say specifically for your life. Blessings to you all in this uh, beautiful new season, and I hope you can you set some time to embrace the springtime, just to. Feel the difference in the air, the difference in the sunlight, the difference in the way birds are singing, the difference in how people are a bit more inspired to do new things and to create new things or to be creative uh, and to be a bit more relaxed given that the season is giving, given, uh, giving us all the opportunity to do just that. <laughs>